Hey, what's up, guys? Ravisher coming to you here after a day of playing Counter Strike. And today I want to talk to you guys about PC versus Xbox. I know it's a well covered topic, but I like to talk about it in the context of Counter Strike because it's a fairly new game, especially on the Xbox, because Xbox didn't have access to the beta like the PC did for the past few months. And I also want to talk a bit about the Xbox controller which is compatible on the PC versus the mouse and keyboard. Again, a topic that's been covered to death by many people, but I'd like to talk about it specifically in the context of Counter-Strike, and because I'm somebody who enjoys playing with the controller on PC against people using mouse and keyboard, so I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of myself on the Xbox and myself on the PC on with an Xbox controller, so both videos that you, or all the videos you guys are going to be seeing are, are going to be me playing with the controller, whether it's Xbox or PC. So let's get right into it. Xbox versus PC in terms of Counter Strike. Yes, of course, PC is vastly superior on any game. It doesn't matter. Graphics, gameplay, everything's going to be better. But for the most part, what I personally use to measure Xbox versus PC is that the gameplay and the continuity or smoothness of the game is similar across all platforms. I mean, PC is always going to have superior graphics, so it's not really fair to say, oh, the Xbox version is worse because it has worse graphics, but of course it does. But that being said, some games are better than others in terms of cross-platform play. I know that the PC gets the shaft on some games that are ported over, uh, Call of Duty being one of them. So luckily for the PC fans, Counter-Strike is not one of these games. The Xbox version suffers from a uh, variety of flaws, the biggest one being a, a pretty bad input lag, and I'm not talking about latency, i.e. your ping, your s connection to the server, or your internet speed, I'm talking about input lag on the actual software side of the game. There's uh, a movement delay, and I think it might have something to do with the port from the PC, and so when you're moving or you're strafing from side to side, the there's going to be about a half second of continued movement and it makes competitive play uh, nearly impossible. It, it's present in other games but it's mostly present in TVs. Uh, some TVs will have this input lag where the input of your controller is delayed to the movement on your screen or the aim on your screen and unfortunately it's present in the actual game coding of the Xbox version of Counter-Strike. Uh, and also the hit registration. The server, the netcode is absolutely god awful on the Xbox side of the game. Uh, server to server, you're, it's going to vary greatly. Some servers I'll be playing in and I'll be able to headshot like a champ across the map like I should be. And other times I will not be able to kill anybody for the life of me and I'll be getting absolutely owned. And it's up to complete luck. And it has nothing to do with my connection because I'm fine on other games and all my friends have experienced the same problems. And I know if you have played Counter-Strike on the Xbox side of the game, you'll be able to relate to me because Everybody I talk to in pubs or to the channel or wherever uh, brings up the same issues. Is that the the lag on this particular game is way way worse than most other games. Let's say Battlefield, uh, Call of Duty, whatever. I mean, of course, all games are gonna suffer from lag as part of the gaming, but the Xbox version of Counter Strike suffers from crippling online lag that almost makes it unplayable at times. So again, the PC version of this game in terms of not only graphics, which is a given, but gameplay and just general netcode is night and day. All right, moving on to one of my favorite topics to talk about, and hopefully it's one of your favorite topics too, is controller versus mouse and keyboard. I know PC guys are always like, oh man, mouse and keyboard, unbeatable, so much better than controller, blah, blah, blah. But that being said, I, have had uh, a lot of success playing with the controller, and I'm not saying in terms of competitive play on the PC that a controller is going to be superior. I mean, yes, if I was playing against a good PC player or a professional PC player, I would get absolutely destroyed. But I'm just talking about for casual play, I find that the average mouse and keyboard user is vastly inferior to the above average controller user. I don't think that there is as much of a difference between mouse and keyboard and controller as a lot of the PC guys like to lead us to believe. 
And I found this out because I've been playing a lot of PC Counter-Strike with my controller, and I have been doing incredibly well. So, for all you guys out there that are too intimidated, or all you console guys out there that are too intimidated to make the move over to PC, uh, I encourage you to actually give it a shot, and if you don't feel comfortable adapting to a mouse and keyboard, just plug in your controller. Any Xbox wireless controller works, just plug in the USB port of your computer, and you will be pleasantly surprised that you will still be able to keep up with the average public game. Again, I'm not saying competitive play that you're going to be able to compete, you won't, but you'll still be able to enjoy yourself on a much better platform, especially in terms of counter strike and you'll also be able to uh, have a lot better customization in terms of Counter-Strike. One of the things that pisses me off to no end is the inability to customize my crosshair on the Xbox version. I have to play with that shitty Valve version of the crosshair. I don't know how they came up with that version. It's terrible. And they don't allow me to switch my crosshair to the classic version like you can on the PC. And it's just annoying and they better patch it because that pisses me off. And I know a lot of people agree with me on that. I've heard it a lot. So you PC guys don't know how good you have it with this game. I guess that wraps up. I know I went on kind of a rant there at the end about my crosshair, but being a being majority Xbox player, this game pisses me off because I was extremely excited for it. But unlike what you guys are used to dealing with on the PC, uh, dealing with ports from the console like Call of Duty and uh, in some cases, I know Battlefield Black Army 2 is a pretty bad port. Uh, we haven't had to deal with that much on the Xbox side of things, but now we're, we have to deal with a PC port. Uh, we're in your shoes, and it must feel good because you guys have an absolutely amazing game, and us console people are stuck with uh, a virtually unplayable, broken game that I deeply hope Valve fixes. With so that being said, I think that's going to wrap it up. Uh, if you have any opinions, or if you disagree with me, I'm sure some of you will. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment box and if you have anything else you want me to talk about or if you have any other uh, requests for gameplay or videos from Counter Strike or other games again please leave a comment and we'll probably I'll probably be coming out with some more Counter Strike videos in the near future I don't know what the topic will be maybe some more rants maybe some montages but uh, that being said hope you enjoyed it